My name is Rebecca Byrne. Today I'm going to give you a performance of my entry into the competition, The Butcher's Doll. There are two scars on both my thighs, mauve and inelegant. A hatchet instead of an axe was implemented to tear away the gentle flesh from sinning bone. Sinful, slothful, succulent. These words, all beginning with an S and semantically meaning wrong, sum up the equation, my bones are gone. Slipped upper femoral epiphysis, a medical jargon term for the fact that the surgeon's incisor knife is tearing through my thighs. Is this the way that escaped victims of cannibals feel, a discordant, ratchety, ragdoll lack of self? Because your body disobeys health and has a taciturn fling with death. The word anaesthetist is falling into disuse. Apparently, patients can't vocalise the word. It's a stressful one, I'm sure. Anesthesiologist is the new hip-hop popular choice. However, when they place a gas mask on your face and make you laugh till unconsciousness kisses you still, I like to know the term used for the androgynous person who kills you and then returns you to the living land of sin. Afterwards, you briefly wait to see a blue nurse of purity walk your trolley down some fleeting hall of white. You drowsy and dumb presume heaven is greeting you through a veil of drugs. Sometime later, many tickings of the clock, you awake to a pain that is insurmountable by love, adulation, or painful rock. The most important milestone of the day, they make you walk. A step or two from your bed, the abnormal difficulty of a few infinitesimal fairy steps chokes you into dismay. You stand tall and immobile. The physiotherapist doesn't play nice. A bad cop on TV probably has more sympathy than she. They let you home the same day as you cried and fumed like a spoiled socialite. Two weeks later, an appointment to the orthopaedic hospital is due. They must miss you. Down you go, a torn and broken lump of human. The doctor looks at your thighs, once beautiful, now marred by ugly, linear bruises. Bye-bye to your dancing dreams, my sweet, sweet child. He commits the unmentionable, even though it's perfectly practiced, he assures. He takes the staples out. Well, he orders some peroxide nurse to carry out the filthy deed. One by one, a sickening stampede of staples are torn from the weary flesh. You miss them. They were part of your body, a living organism made from synthetic meat. The weirdest finding from the whole debacle, the staples were the easiest part. A whole company of drugs helps you start anew. I'm a phoenix with the aid of a pharmaceutical crew.